Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today I've come back down to Whitey Rock, just on this like uh, platform that we've been fishing on recently. Come down with Alexander. He's brought down his 10 foot mackerel rod and a little tiny uh, fixed pole reel that he got donated by Barry. He's going to give that a shot today. I'm going to be doing some casting out with his rod because it's still quite heavy for him. So I'll do the casting, he can do the reeling in. Uh, I've also brought my leader icon M Sport Power with my 525 loaded uh, 20 pound Daiwa sensor and a 50 pound shock leader. My choice of rig today is an up and over and I've put the pulley dropper on his rod uh, uh, as well. The same size hooks, uh, three O's with a circle, a three O circle hook. And yeah, we're just gonna wait and see what happens. Now, first bait we put out is paler crab. Uh, we've got, we had a, a nice paler crab that uh, popped this morning. So we've brought that down, it was a good size. So we've chopped it in half and I'll put half of mine, half on his. And now we're just gonna wait and see what happens now. Um, we are targeting, uh, now I'm gonna be honest, I'm hoping for a very, very lucky hound just to pass along. Now, if I can get a hound, I'll be very, very happy. A rare, again, I'll be very, very happy. But I'm more, I'm more hoping he gets a fish. Oh, I lost my balance there. Eh? <laughs> uh, I think any fish for him to be today, to be honest with you, it would be amazing. I just want to see here, I just want to record him and catching his own fish on his own rod. That'd be amazing. So less chatting and uh, more fishing. So we'll see you later. Right guys, we've got a slack line bike. I thought it was just that way. got the tip section there, look. But it wasn't. The rail down, struck into it just in case. The fish on. It's tightened really fast to the left. Oh, I can't feel any head shake or anything like that. So the only thing I can think of is a rail. Yeah, I can see it on the surface. Yeah, it's a roof. Just going to be careful because I don't want my leader leading off getting trapped. Uh, I managed to get it through. Is it a decent one? It's in that rock pool, so it's safe. We've got our first fish of the day. Now, we really want one for Alexander's rod. But for some reason, we're not taking it. And we're gonna hook this up on here. Now we this fish. Come have a look. There it is. A nice little female. No claspers, I don't think. Let me see. No, no claspers, so it's a little female foam back there. Really nice. Right, how is it hooked? Right, so we've got... It swallowed the bait quite well. So what we'll do is, we'll unhook it uh, from the tribe, from the rig here, from the road tree. And then we'll put it in this rock crawl in front of the stand here. So we'll keep it nice and cool, nice and impressive. Well, so it's still got plenty of energy. I was swimming around in the rock pool there. Still got loads of energy left, so I'll we'll leave it in there, let it cool down, let it calm down a little bit. I'll go and get the pliers, unhook it, and we'll bring it back when it's unhooked. So right guys, there you go. Nice little female combat ray. About two pounds, maybe just shy of two pounds, but yeah. But um, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put it in this rock pool. I've already touched the rock pool and it's really really cold. So I know it's not gonna get you know uh, too hot. So we'll keep it in there, let it calm down, and then we'll release them all at the end of the video, alright? So stay tuned for the release. Right guys, my rig is rebaited up. This time I've gone up the squid because all my soft crabs that I've uh, brought with me, uh, are, they're all still hard. I have got three peelers up left in the, up, up in the, uh, the shed that is still ready to pop, but they haven't popped yet and I didn't want to bring them down because they're for, no, for, the, for the good day of when I try and see if I can get somewhere else to try and see if I can get a hound, more likely to get a hound uh, on a better mark, see? Um, so I brought the soft crabs with me that are frozen so yeah as i say they're still frozen so i'm gonna i've changed to a squid this time so like i say the rig that i've that i'm using is an up and over with all the trident stuff so as you can see there look there's the trident uh, hangover with the little spring 
and there's the squid bait that I'm using. Now, there's the circle hook at the top as the panel, and a 3 or right there, 3 or Sakuma Manta extra right there in the bait holder hook, uh, bait holder cup there. So yeah, and then I've actually left on the old crab <laughs> that was on before. I just did, I didn't bother cleaning it off, just put it on with it. Why, why not there? Eh? Ray's still in its little, uh, in its little uh, rock pool there. But yeah, we're gonna get this casted out as far as we can over there. What do you reckon? We're gonna get another one? Yep. No bother. Guys, I've just literally uh, baiting up Alexander's rod and my rod went screaming fast like really fast like faster than uh, it's ever been and it's stopped now so I'm hoping if it, if it is a hound it'll come back pick it up and take off again so I want to get it on camera all right so I'm gonna give Alexander the camera still got the ratchet set I think if there was a hound on, I think I would have felt it by now if it was hooked on because I've got that circle hook, see? What's possibly happened is the rays picked it up and ran with it and maybe dropped it. Or it's just stopped running. It's just sitting there, it's sitting there with it in its mouth. Put it back on the on the rod rest. We're just gonna wait and see if it goes again. Yeah, I think it's still there. I'm not so sure. I'm not really. I don't, I don't know. I really don't know. What I'll do is I'll set up the camera right there so you can watch it for me. Oh, maybe you don't need to. Right, guys, uh, that run that I had on my rod, I left it for about, it's about. I left the camera rolling, watching the spool for about eight minutes, and uh, that and it hasn't moved since. So. It's either gone or it's just sitting there with it in its bait. So I'm gonna grab out of the rod now and see what the crack is because I've just refreshed Alexander's bait. That one's out there now. So now we just need to check out and see if there's anything on mine. So I'm gonna see if Alexander's, well, Alexander's busy. So I'll uh, set up my camera now and we'll, we'll see if there's anything there. Oh yeah, that's heavy. Oh. 
very heavy. Alexander, this must might be a decent fish. Bigger, but it's got some nice patterns on it. Well, we'll put it in that box over that one for now. Woo! It's a lot bigger than the other one. It grabbed a little bit, it grabbed a little bit, and just ran, and then it just stopped, just, just decided not run anymore. There you go guys, there's another pail of crab wrapped up or Whipped up, wrapped up, however you want to say it There you are, there's the... oh, it's popped out Come here the, the, the hook's locked in there Pull it up Put, Hook it on this little hangover clip here Pull it down tight Fix your lead And we're ready to go again So, I'm going to back up a little bit so we can do some <laughs> I did say we were going to pack up and go home, but Alexander wants another cast on, it, on his rod as well, so I'm going to try one more bit. Uh, and here's I'm going to put a nice big juicy peeler and I'm going to scop it as far as I can because now the tide's coming in. So we're going to leave it out there for as long as possible. I might, I might make it bit really big and chunky, so then when the, bit, when the tide comes in, it gets deeper and deeper and deeper and that gives it more of a chance for the fish to come in and find it before we have to, before we have to go. So here we go, we're going to get this out with the bait in the water and then see if we can get a little one.
clicker on. Loosen the drag right off. Put it in the rest. And then, oh, I've done that. Tighten the drag up a little bit. Then fill it more tight. Yeah, that's perfect. So now we're fishing. Now we're gonna, we're gonna take the camera off Alexander and Alexander's gonna bring his rod in. Right, go. Let's see if we've got a fish. Don't run, you don't need to run. <laughs> Chill. Right, go down to that rock over there, the one with all the muscles on. That's it. Alright, uh, that's it. Careful, watch that I told you to tie that shoelace. Mm -hmm. Is it heavy? Don't stop railing. Keep bringing it in. Have you got a fish on, like? You don't know? You haven't. Keep bringing it in. No, you haven't. All right, be careful. Rail it up to the top. That clip to the top. Right, stop, stop, stop. That's it. Right now, walk it up, back up onto the stand and we'll go and lay it on the top of the stand so then I can put some bait on for you. Right, guys, he's got no fish on, so we're gonna, now we're going to make a nice big chunky bait for him. I'm going to scoff it out there as far as I possibly can and we're going to see if we can get him a ray or a dogfish or anything really, anything to get him to catch a fish, but we'll see. Right guys, I'm just putting Alexander's fresh bait on and my rods just went nuts. Just started screaming. Are we not slack? No, we're not slack. It's still tight. Alexander, keep playing that screw. Alright, I'll make the guys watch it. That was a big run. Yeah, big run. Yeah, it like it went like I seen the rod and it bent it down like far. Right, you guys keep an eye on that. I'm just gonna go put Alexander's bed out. Thank you. Right, guys, right. I can't keep away from these rays. We've just had another run, but this one was a long run. Um but like again, it's just, it just run and then stop. There's tension still on the line and we've, every now and then we get a couple of, a couple of knocks, but it's a rear, <laughs> it's part of it. But we're gonna bring it in and keep an eye on Alexander's because Alexander's got a nice big chunky fishy and crab bait out there. And the tide's coming in, so I'm hoping, I'm gonna leave it out there for as, as long as I possibly can. And I'm hoping he can get a run. I'm really hoping to get a fish. Uh, so then I can be on the other side of the camera for once. But let's talk and let's get this run. Let's get the fish in. Right, last time I was down here, I was down here with Michaela, my sister, who came to visit me. And we came down to get uh, uh, to get Michaela to have a look at the rear because she's never seen one before. So if, if this is on, Michaela, this rear is dedicated to you. Looks like we've got one. Oh, fight! Oh, fight! This one! Oh, come on, big <laughs> Oh, yes! Look at the fender hat, look at the fender hat. I'm just fishing with a lot better than this. All it feels is just a big heavy weight. Just a, every sign of a rib, that's all it is. But, like I said, Michaela, this one's Sorry I couldn't pick you one when you were here, but this one is for you. Oh yes. It's actually quite heavy, believe it or not. I don't know if it's coming in backwards or what. It's staying really deep as well. It's not on the surface like the other one was. So this one's acting a bit weird. 
This one's not coming out the water. The other ones are skipping along the surface. This one isn't, and this one feels heavier. Now, I don't want to jinx it and lose it, so I'm going to get it in before I talk anymore. But yes, it's a rave, it's coming backwards, it's just flipped around the surface. Right there, we've got it on the surface and we've got it in now. Right, it is coming in a bit backwards, so I'm just going to be careful. It's all wrapped up in the tail. Down here, so we've got it. There we go. So there you go, Michaela. There's your rear that I'll try to get you. The other three that I've caught already, they're not for you, they're for me. But this one, this one's for you. <laughs> well, this one's been through the wars. This one, it's got a few marks in it. Right, we'll get it unhooked, get the rock and roll, and we'll give you a better show. Right, so there you go, guys. There's another, another female going back rear, loads of, loads of spines on her as always, she's going a little bit pink so I'm going to get her in this rock pool, let her calm down and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll release all these fish, we'll look at all the fish while I put this in here. look at them all, oh, we've got, we've got two big ones, well you know the, the, the two biggest ones on, the, on, the, on that side and then we've got the, like the, mid, the middle sized one and then we've got a really small one right there, but yeah Oh, uh, come on, you, you need to recover. Get back in the water. <laughs> right, guys, I'm sick of catching rays now, and it's Alexander's turn to catch a ray. So, like I said, his bait is out there getting deeper and deeper as we speak. Yeah, I'm going big bait this time. I'm going to go for either a little strap that's coming along. Well, as it's getting dark, the might start coming out feed soon. Uh, you never know. I'm just going to, I'm just going to pot along and see what happens. So, uh, we're just going to concentrate on getting Alexander a fish. So while we're doing that, I'm got the big bait out. So this is basically a full mackerel missing the tail and the fillet missing, that's it. So it's basically got another fillet on one side and the head's still there. I've only got a 4 I think it's a 4 it could be a 3 or it's a Kumamanta extra with a circle hook as a pen up the top there. So we're gonna get this lab out and see what else we can get. Right guys, it is half, well, what time did I say it was? It was half past nine and it's time for Alexander to bring his in. Is has been out there for oh quite a good, God. oh is it heavy? Yeah. Oh, it's heavy, get, get a bit closer if you can. Keep reeling, do not stop reeling, is it heavy? Yeah. Oh, is it heavy? Is it heavy? <laughs> keep coming, keep coming, what's that tide? <laughs> what's that tide doesn't get you in. Keep coming, don't stop. Oh, it's heavy. Is it heavy? Yeah. <laughs> Keep coming, don't oh, stop. Is it slacking now? Oh. Keep coming, don't stop. Oh, oh. no, he hasn't got anything. You got excited a bit there, didn't you? I still was still on. There wasn't. Oh, whoa, 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 careful, careful. There you are. Yeah, you had a bit of seaweed on, look. There, I'll get a bit of seaweed. Nah, there's no fish on there, look, the bait's still in macular condition. Well, maybe next time, Sonny. I'm not going to get a fish over here. <laughs> you are. Right, now it's time for green lining. Uh, let's see if anything's been inquiring on my big mackerel bait. Let's see. Woo, sorry. <laughs> Need to hurry up. Let's see if there's anything on my big bear. I don't care! 
probably, but I think that's just uh, my fault. So there you go guys, no more fish, but we still need to release these, these rays, so stay tuned, we're going to pack up and we'll release these rays, okay? Right guys, it's that time, we need to start releasing these fish because it's already starting to fill up. It's already starting to fill up, we need to hold it up this rock, so we need to get these released. There you are. Nice little female, a little small one. We didn't really record that one. Right. Uh, come on, this way, I'll get that. Okay. Right, we're going to release over there. Alright. Right, female, little tiny female gone. Now we need to get these ones. It's getting a bit risky, isn't it? It's a bit, uh, figure out a nice place to release it. I'm already wet, so whatever. I might as well get back. Uh, right, right, right. That is the uh, that is I think that was the second fish we caught. One of the biggest ones. But yeah, we'll release this one. That's the one that I, that one I dedicated to Michaela, so there you go Michaela, I'm going to release it for you. Let's see how the surface. Just find his bearings, he'll, 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 uh, he'll swim away, no problem. There you are, look. Can you see it? Look at that, right along the surface, swimming out. That is beautiful, man. Are you trying to get off that one quick? Oh. Right, let's try and get this other one up before it gets yeah, stuck in here. Can't find it, can't see it. It's right there, bottom. Right, tight. Please don't bring it. Release safely. Right guys, so there you go. All the fish released nice and safely, all swimming off. So now I think it's time we need to get off this rock before we get surrounded. Well, I think we've got loads of time, but I'm saying this is what could happen, guys, if you don't know the mark very well. We had, uh, to my, in front of me here, there's a, a little stream coming in where the water fills up. And then again, over this side, the water will come in this way and also fill up this side. And it will lock you onto this rock, because this rock will, is standing up out the water. And the other side is a lot more shallower, so it'll fill up a lot quicker. So yeah, let's ramble in. Let's get the rods packed up. Uh, the gear's already packed up, and it's time to go home. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Wait a minute, we need to get Alex and out the outro as well. So yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, yeah, go watch all my previous videos if you don't mind. I hope really much appreciate it. Make the like button red. <laughs> Make the like button red. Thank you very much. See you next time.